uh, uh, so, yeah, um, uh, 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 so as a young guy, um, I was only eight or nine at the time. Um, so nine, I was praying for the Holy Spirit. Um, uh, and this was at a, um, a, a camp in Perth, Western Australia. Um, it was a very hot day, but I was praying away and I got saved 31st of December, 1990. Um, and I got baptized in, in, in River uh, that day. Um, and I just remember it being the happiest day of my life. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, I'm not the most emotional guy around, but, you know, it was, I had a smile from ear to ear. Um, and that's the, uh, something that, that, that sticks in my mind forever. You know, it's, it's not going to leave me. Um, I know exactly what, what I was doing, what happened that day. Um, and it was a real experience. Um, it wasn't um, a, a, a something like, like just a good feeling going through me or uh, just something that I had to believe and, and hope. It was something that actually really um, happened. Um, uh, 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 being spirit-filled, speaking in tongues, um, wasn't something that I practiced during that day. It was just something that happened. Um, and uh, um, I, um, after getting baptized, um, I think it was probably the following year, probably even that year, um, no, probably, yeah, I'd say the following year, um, uh, I was praying about um, my asthma and a few other things, um, and I realized that I hadn't, uh, so background, um, I'd suffered from asthma my whole life, uh, been going in and out of hospitals, um, uh, been, uh, 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 I mean, in fact, you know, I was actually going to school at the hospital because I was there so much. Um, I, I was there more at hospital than I was at school. Um, and after getting baptized spirit filled, um, I remember that year I had no asthma attacks, I had no problems. Um, uh, uh, you know, I'll be out with the with the with, with the dust and the pollen and things that would normally set me off. And you know, I'm, I'm going through like and having having a an asthma attack. Um, I was completely healed um, of that. And I told my parents that I was going to throw away my medication because I didn't need them anymore. Um, again, that faith of a child. Um, and I threw them away, and I never had an asthma attack since. And Occasionally, I would get a, a bad flu, which gives me a little bit of a hint of what I used to have. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I've never had any problems with that since. Um, uh, uh, going through uh, then school, didn't really have too many issues. Um, I, 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 it wasn't until I left school uh, that I started to develop um, social anxiety. Um, it wasn't something um, like it wasn't something that was diagnosed or anything. It was something that I called social anxiety. I didn't know social anxiety existed. Um, but it's just something that I called social anxiety. I couldn't talk to people. Um, I, I, I'd be talking to one person, but that was fine. Um, but as soon as someone else would join in the conversation, um, I'll put you, I completely shut down. Um, um, I remember being in 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 um, at the meeting and looking around at the young people, thinking, why can't I go and talk to them like they're all talking to each other? I didn't understand why I couldn't do it. Um, and this happened. This was going on for about three years, probably three four years. Um, and it wasn't until I started actually praying that at that I called out to the Lord and was like, Lord, you know, you've got to get um, I get rid of this. It was uh, a time when I started praying properly as well, having a prayer life, um, and I got the healing. Um, and it wasn't until I, I mean I, I knew I had the healing, but it wasn't until I had to give a testimony in front of I think it was about a thousand people at the first convention um, uh, that I realised I was actually healed because uh, there's no way I could have done that. Um, even uh, probably doing this, you know, with with a small a group of people here, I probably couldn't have done it. Um, it was a, um, a, a something that really ruled my life. Um, it's something that really um, a, 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 um, everything I did was what was surrounded on whether I can handle being around people or not. Um, so the Lord definitely took that away from me. That was a big burden, um, and that was no longer a burden. Um, uh, yeah, going through then um, at the next big miracle. Um, I, I say this quite a lot in my testimony, but it's worth saying again. Um, uh, I was going uh, snowboarding uh, down a mountain. Um, it was uh, on the beginner slope. I'd like to say I was doing something spectacular, but I wasn't. I was just going down a hill normally, um, and I caught the heel edge of my uh, board, and I flipped back and hit the back on my head. Uh, when I come to a stop, I couldn't move anything. Um, I put all my effort into moving my hand. I remember it quite clearly, and I couldn't do anything at all, um, which, you know, kind of scares you. <laughs> you don't know what you've done. Um, uh, I think I might have been a bit concussed because I couldn't really figure out what to do. Even praying, I couldn't really figure out, and all, all I could do was call out to the Lord, Holy Lord, thank you, Lord, help me, Lord. Um, and that's when the feeling come back in my body again. And um, 
Uh, that's when I put my hand up. Long, long story short, someone saw me, took me down to the um, hospital um, and found out that I had a fracture in my C5. Um, um, and it's, it's a, probably, you know, one, two, three is really important. Four and five is obviously pretty important too. And um, it was a, a two thirds of the way through the, um, the, the, the bone. So I, I don't know exactly what was going on. Um, uh, whether it was a proper break or was it just a pinch of nerve or something. But as soon as I called out to the Lord, um, the feeling come back in my body again. And I didn't have any pain, didn't have any problems with it, no long-term issues, um, uh, 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 no arthritis in the neck or anything like that, nothing. It was all I completely healed and, um, and the Lord blessed that. Um, yeah, and just going through, uh, the Lord's always blessed me with work and uh, blessed me with um, things going, uh, going, problem, uh, going wrong. Um, you know, sometimes you can make it worse in your head than what they are, and the Lord just moves it all out. And having a, a proper idea of what's actually going on around you, letting the Lord, Lord kind of sort it out. Um, and the Lord's always blessed it. You know, coming, moving to Ireland was a big um, a, 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 a trial, I suppose. It was uh, um, tough to find work, found work. It was tough to actually get paid because <laughs> I didn't have a bank account. Uh, but the Lord just had it all in hand, um, and everything worked out well. Um, trying to find someone to live was tough as well, it took me seven months, but again, the Lord blessed it. Um, and I had a great little place um, that, that, that suited me perfectly. And yeah, the Lord's just always been there. Uh, so any time something happened or that went wrong, even sometimes, you know, I, you, know you, you kind of turn your eyes away for a second a little bit and you kind of realize, that, oh, what's going on? You put your eyes back on the Lord again. The Lord's always there. He's never left. And it's just great that he's always there. He's always looking over us and he's always been there for me. Amen. Short, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. And uh, nice to be in this uh, boiling point once again. A little bit nervous giving a talk uh, after a long time. But anyway, I try to survive this. And uh, I think we can uh, turn to uh, first Peter and uh, chapter 5 and verses. 10 and 11. Uh, but the God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, strength, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And uh, I'm going to share with you a few thoughts today. Actually, this thought came in my mind many months ago in the gift, gifts, but uh, I didn't open my mouth. But anyway, I I want to talk about a little bit wooden boats. I have one, and that wooden boat is up of my eye. It's my precious thing. And uh, when they built these wooden boats, it's a great genuine craftsmanship as its best. It needs a lot of talent to make boat that works. The mud and the materials must be chosen very carefully. The boards must be without any uh, branch. Uh, if you can choose, it's just a solid, solid wood. And the wood carving is precise and well throughout. And mistakes are very difficult to correct because if some piece did that, it cannot be recovered, at least not permanently. So it, it, it needs a lot of talent to make a good boat. And first, when they make boat, they make this uh, keel under the boat. And after that, they make a body or frame of the boat. Uh, which like both they somebody want to make desire of the shape and uh, the finally they add the boards side of the boats but when they lay in the boards each board is bent with help of hot steam otherwise it would be broken and when it's broken it's very hard to work uh, take it out and make a new one and try to make that new one like the, it, it fits very well in the, in the right place. And uh, this thought, uh, I think it's some way reflect our life in the Lord. 
the Lord has chosen uh, each one of us carefully. He knew our heart beforehand, and he has put together the whole form of our life that suits in his purposes. Sometimes his correction doesn't feel so good, as we know, but there's uh, scriptures in Bible that when we went through those uh, situations in life, it may, makes us uh, like a silver, uh, make more shining, that we can re reflect his light in this world. And we know that all things work, work for good for those who love him. However, I have wooden boat, and if you use that wooden boat, it requires constant care. It, it, it's not like some uh, made from aluminium or glass fiber or whatever. It means const need constant care and hard work. But when it's uh, properly cared for, it provides its owner with an enjoyable way to move around on the water. And then... And, and, uh, Little bit uh, explain that I I have had a lot of different boats, but when I first got my uh, first wooden boat, I just love it. When it's uh, when you put water on the water and it uh, sucking all, all this water, it's going more heavy and very steady. In a, if there are very windy conditions, I have seen uh, here in Finland they have many kind of uh, fishing boats, but uh, those who have wooden boats, they are the least one who are getting on the shore when a storm comes, because that wood boat, it, 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 it's so, so steady in the heavy conditions. And uh, we can turn to uh, Titus, chapter 3. And uh, verse 4. But after that the kindness and love, love of God, our Savior, the Lord man, uh, appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us, by the washing of uh, regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he set uh, on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And uh, as we all are all here, we are anointed by Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, in, in the same way, this new boat, when it's uh, built, it needs to be uh, saturated with mixture of different oils and minim minimize, how do you say it? It's shrink. 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 And uh, shrink it and swelling of the wood when exposed to moisture. And uh, we were the same way before the Holy Spirit. We were in un an un un unstable state you know, in, our, in our life. Somebody, maybe somebody had a good life, good work, or a little bit uh, better life than other. But inside, we were uh, un unstable. We were like uh, other scriptures say, we went to and fro with uh, different doctrines. But uh, when we received the Holy Spirit, and that uh, fruits that the Holy Spirit brings, and the wisdom that comes from above, our life has been constant adaptation and rapture according to the environment and life. And what I mean uh, of that is that our life was like ripped in, in different directions all the time. We we were living in uh, midst of this uh, Rest of the people of this world, as Bible described, that the uh, waves and the seas and waters, they are these nations, and we were uh, among those uh, uh, heavy waters. And uh, I was ripped and dropped in a different direction by using drugs. 
I love that lifestyle. I love great music. I love, I love uh, that time my outlook. But I wasn't never happy inside. I just try to please other people and I try to please my different character. Every weekend I put some mask on and uh, I'm a much different person. And inside that I was completely different. Not happy. Sometimes, yeah, I, I feel good feeling, but I wasn't happy. But uh, yeah, when that, uh, that boat or our life has been saturated and filled with good stuff, with this Holy Spirit and oil, that, that, that's not enough. That boat, after that, need, uh, need to uh, cover with the tar or pits, that black stuff which came from the uh, pine tree. Inside and outside, just like Noah did with the ark, in the same way. And I try to a little bit uh, look out that uh, Gorgon's uh, this, uh, this book, and I found out that the uh, tar or pits has a different meaning of uh, ransom and redemption. And I mean that. When Jesus gave his life for us and filled us with the Holy Spirit, if we are that boat, we are covered fully his, uh, his love and his uh, redemption and Christ what he paid for our sins. And I have written down here like uh, we have a redemption in Jesus through his blood. Our sins are forgiven once and for all. He went through that hot point. He tasted that we might live, and you you don't you don't need to go there. But in Isaiah it says, uh, "When you pass through the waters, I will uh, I will be with you, and when when through the rivers, they shall not over, overwhelm you, and when you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you." So we have to go through different situations and uh, that are not always pleasant or in order to remember the richness of the hope to which we have been called. Always, always remember that we have, uh, we have promised something special. Eyes cannot see, we can touch it, but we know it and the God will reveal his secrets to us. We can see it through our spiritual eyes and we can uh, spread that good news to other people. Example Yoni here, we witness to him a, a lot and we take, uh, it is months, we didn't speak anything about the Lord. We trust, just try to be good testimony. And uh, recently, last month, last week, mostly spoke at all about the Lord to him. But uh, one evening I arrived uh, uh, from fishing and I just came in my in, in my park, parking place and I received the message that I want to be baptized just out of nowhere. And uh, I called him and uh, I said, yeah, we can uh, see each other tomorrow. And uh, Yoni came here yesterday and we baptized him. And uh, we pray for the Holy Spirit to receive it, uh, not yet, but uh, we, we pray and we encourage him to pray. And uh, we know that God is faithful. He has given promises. He has promised to give Holy Spirit to everybody who asks him. And uh, it's an unchangeable promise. But we can go uh, further. Hebrew chapter 6. And verse 10. For God is not uh, unrighteous, unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have sowed toward his name, in that ye have uh, ministered to the saints and to minister. And we desire that every one of you do so the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. 
that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Uh, just as, as that car or pitch protect the boat and uh, keep it tight, it keep it uh, waterproof. Same way, in same way, God's grace surround us and fill our life inside and out. But as I said before, this takes it need to be work for that, and it takes work and care. We are saved by grace. Not by our own works, but we have been given the greatest responsibility in entire universe, which is a uh, quite quite a big thing to carry God's truth in this darkening world, world, just like that city on the hill. We saw the light, and the. Uh, Last uh, scripture, Ephesians chapter 5. And uh, from verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of, of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, and the main point, but be filled with the Spirit, or be saturated with the Spirit, be uh, stirred up, always active, uh, verse 19, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, now, now is time when my boat it's on the ground, it's not under water, and it shrinks that the woods, it uh, shrinks to, uh, during winter. Well, like Bible described, winter is difficult times. It might happen in our walk in the Lord. And cracks, uh, if that uh, impregnation, that saturation with the oils has been insufficient, and that the uh, impregnation also evaporates over time. So now it's time when spring comes, I go to my boat, there is big cracks. It might be several centimeters wide. I can put my hands through those. But when I put that boat in the water and wait few, uh, a wait few days, those uh, cracks will swallow back together. And it's waterproof again. And with uh, with this, I mean, if we are fully uh, saturated with that Holy Spirit, we suck in all those benefits we pray and we read. We are like wet of that Holy Spirit. It's no problem. We can sail on the water, and uh, life life is easy. We can always rely the Lord. Uh, to the Lord and we can trust him. But uh, if their boats, there is that the cracks, they doesn't make that boat unfit. As I said, when you put it back to water, the wood swells and even several centimeters cracks close up. That we should keep ourselves stimulated or saturated with the Holy Spirit by doing this. We can sail through life easily holding on to all the promises of God and just enjoy your sailing above the deep sea and have lots of sunny days. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>